Hey, in, this, in today's video, man, this is for men only. This is not for women. This is for men only. This is for men that like women. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, there are a lot of guys in this daytime and hour that like women. And they'll tell you, man, we love women, man. Women are beautiful. Women are this. Women are that. Man, you know, men waste a lot of time, energy, and effort on women that are not worth it. Men waste a lot of time on women who are okay with sexual immorality, fornication, because you're okay with it. Let me ask you something, man. If you're a man and you're one of these men that says, man, I'm anti-marriage. I don't want to get married. But you, you enjoy the occasional uh, fornication, sexual morality, you know, defiling your body. What does that say about you? If you're truly uh, a believer in the true Messiah of the book, what does that say about you? If you are uh, a man that considers yourself a man of the most high, where, how does that thought process uh, pertain to what's in the book? When the Most High Yah told you to, you know, hold marriage and honor among all. You got to look at all of the provisions that you got to look at, you know, men in the book that had women and were righteous. Man, they had to fulfill a duty to that woman. It wasn't about just getting some booty. But we got a lot of men that are anti-marriage claiming to be Christian, claiming to be all of this stuff, claiming to have a, a certain type belief, but yet you don't want to fulfill the duty that's written all over the book. People hate Solomon, but at least he fulfilled a duty. Solomon had a lot of wisdom. His downfall was he chose the wrong women. He still had great protection from sexual immorality and fornication. Solomon not only covered wives, and concubines. Concubines is higher than what the world calls a 304, a, a, a hoe, a harlot. Harlot don't have no covering. A concubine does. I tell you, man, you know, you got to really analyze your walk. Saying everything that sounds right. Telling people stuff that sounds right. Reading uh, passages and verses about uh, marriage and about the union of marriage, the covenant of marriage. But yet you're going out, you know, living this sinful life, man, it's not going to cut it. And I tell you, you'd be surprised, man, when you let those habits go. Let those fleshly habits go. You'd be surprised what the Most High Yah will put in front of you for you to, to, to be a covering for, to be a provider for, to be a protector. I don't get it because a lot of men say, okay, women look at a man as an ATM. And I'll tell you this, yes, women look at a man as an ATM, but that should be one of the many things they look to you for. And if the only thing you have to offer is money, then that's what they're gonna look at you for. You know, I don't mind my wife coming to me because I'm the provider for money. I don't mind my wife coming to me in that fashion, but she knows that it's not just an ATM that she's getting. People try to rob ATMs all the time. That ain't nothing new. But when you get a true man of Yah, you get a spiritual covering, a man that can discern what you're going through, what the woman is going through, knows how to lay them hands on there, uh, bring deliverance in the house to, to, to the woman and the kids and how to get it himself. 
You see what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're watchful. You're a shepherd watching out for the wolves. You know, a woman gets, when we look biblically, a woman gets leadership. She gets provision. She gets physical and spiritual covering. She gets protection. You know, so many different things, but a lot of men, because we're just watered, watered down these days of, you know, uh, just wanting to have casual sex and all of this, man, all of that stuff is not going unrecorded, not going unrecorded. And don't deceive yourself into thinking that you're doing the will of Yah because you say all this religious mumbo jumbo, but yet you don't want to fulfill the duty of a wife, but yet you don't want to fulfill the duty of a husband, but yet you don't want to uh, marry these women and you'll, you'll talk about how bad they are, but you won't, you won't uh, take one as your prideful possession and make sure she has what she needs. Make sure you, you, you groom and guide and lead her. You okay with laying down with them, busting them cheeks. I'm telling you, man, this is why I said this is solely for men. Man, it's when you let go of those habits and you say, hey, I'm gonna put myself in a position to truly be able to see uh, what this thing is really about so I can discern, okay, the type of woman that the Most High Yah wants for me. Just because the type of woman that you read about in the book that's counted as righteous sounds good, that doesn't mean you're deserving of it. Your righteousness not maybe, your righteousness maybe that of the Pharisees. You was double-minded, you was hypocritical. And the word says, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees, you won't see the kingdom. I'm telling you, man, playing religious as a man, wearing all these little cross uh, earrings and pendants and necklaces, doesn't mean anything to the Most High Yah. Your walk is gonna, is gonna say everything. And to a woman, the way that you walk, the way that you conduct yourself, when you get one of these women you're entertaining, and you would have previously said, yeah, I'm trying to get her to go back to my place. You never know what response you will get out of a woman if you say, no, I'm not trying to do all that. I'm focused on something serious. I'm focused on marriage. If you just want casual sex, this ain't for me. You got to think most women don't never get that, especially worldly women. They don't get that kind of response from men because men are so thirsty and, and so lustful. But I'm telling you, you say, hey, no, nah, we don't need to do that. I don't want to, hey, I understand you've been out here. I've been out here. I ain't trying to do that no longer. I'm focused on something serious. You know, I want I, I want, I want the wife of the book. And in order for me to get the wife of the book, the righteous wife of the book, I got to be the man of the book. I got to be the, 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 what the scriptures describe is how a husband should be. You see what I'm saying? It's not one day when you get a husband, you're going to learn how to be a husband. No, you got to, you got to work on them traits and characters and those uh, that, that, that value system, that belief system well before you get there, well before you get there. I see a lot, I see a lot of men talk about what women ain't doing and what women, you know, these women is trash and all of this and they're just trying to get over, but behind the scenes, what's going on with you? Whole bunch of fornication, sexual immorality, you know, you, you, you steady on social media, liking all these sexual, you, you probably got, might have an OnlyFans subscription. How do you think that's going to work out for you? How do you think that's conducive to righteousness? Just saying something to man to get your gears going this morning. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.